the former top Trump campaign official who lost the relative comfort and privilege of home confinement was transferred late Friday night to a regional jail about a two hour drive outside Washington in Warsaw, Virginia. He's listed, according to records there, as being in a VIP section. This all comes after a judge ordered Paul Manafort to be held until his trial uh, later this summer. Waking up behind bars, a first day without freedom for former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort. A federal judge said she had no appetite to lock him up while he awaits trial, but Judge Amy Berman Jackson said she could not turn a blind eye. After prosecutors alleged Manafort tried to influence what potential witnesses might testify about his lobbying work with Ukraine. Late Friday, President Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, both floated and pulled back talk about presidential pardons. He is not going to pardon anybody in this investigation, but he is not obviously going to give up his right to pardon if a miscarriage of justice is presented to him. Giuliani says he recommends against pardoning anyone in the Mueller probe, but left the door open. Well, of course he could. Of course he could. Earlier, President Trump responded to the jailing of Manafort with tweeted sarcasm. Didn't know Manafort was the head of the mob and tried to distance himself with false information. He worked for me, what, for 49 days or something? A very short period of time. The president is wrong about that. Manafort was in charge of the Trump campaign far longer, 144 days. Like Manafort has nothing to do with our campaign. But I feel so, I tell you, I feel a little badly about it. Manafort, who claims innocence, is accused of a financial conspiracy with money laundering and foreign lobbying. Manafort's lawyers suggested he had contacted former colleagues not knowing they would be witnesses. But Friday, his wife of 40 years and lawyers left the courthouse without him. Kelly, also some news from China this morning. That country claiming uh, that the United States has launched a trade war after the president announced tens of billion dollars in new tariffs yesterday. Is the White House saying anything more about that this morning? Not yet, but China certainly is punching back, accusing the United States of being short sighted. So China says it will impose new tariffs on thirty four billion dollars worth of goods, everything from soybeans to whiskey. This will be happening soon. And then over the summer, they plan to expand that to as many as five hundred and forty five items. A lot of this would hit rural America, where some of these products are made. That's, of course, where President Trump has his base. They also say that they are responding to what President Trump did, and they will now cancel some of the plans to buy American goods, which would have narrowed the gap. For his part, President Trump has been saying that the world has been treating the U.S. like a piggy bank, and he wants it to stop. Craig? Kelly O'Donnell, Force at the White House this morning. Kelly, thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.